Here with us in the studio, we have Amanda Tate, naturopath, and we're joined by a lovely mother-daughter duo, Carmel and Mrs. Raj. Thank you, ladies, I for joining us. With the process of aging come many problems. Yeah. So what are some of them? Well, the major one, I would say, will be sleep. They mm -hmm. can't sleep well normally. And the other one will be memory problem. Mm -hmm. They can't, they tend to forget things, you know, can't remember names, forget where the key is. Yeah, I would say this will be the two major area problems. So sleep, as you mentioned, is one of the main problems that the elderly face. So actually, how much sleep does an elderly person need? Well, sleep is actually very important, no matter what age you are. So, in order for you to be able to function better in the daytime, generally we still need a good seven to nine hours sleep at night for elderly. I see. And this is the thing, I've noticed that a lot of the time sleeping patterns change as we age. Yeah. But why is that? Well, simply because um, our hormone change when we age. Mm -hmm. So, there's one of the hormones which is called melatonin. It's very important for our sleep. So this is the well, the, the hormone that can promote a better sleep. But when we age, the body produces lesser and lesser. That's why we don't get to sleep better. I see. And so what are some of the most common causes of insomnia? Because we want to know why this is happening. And that's how we stop it, right? Yeah. So when you worry about your children, uh, your grandchildren, something happening. Yeah. Right. So of stress, course, stress yeah. is one of the major mm -hmm. issue and depression. Mm. Yeah. And the other thing also, like medication, mm -hmm. you know, tend to like start to eat some medication mm -hmm. and pain. Like you know, some people they get joint pain, you know, body pain, that sort of thing, will also affect the sleep. But what can like an elderly person do during mm -hmm. the day to help them, you know, get to that stage where they're tired enough to just go to bed and sleep? Well, I would say first thing is exercise. Like many elderly people don't get to move a lot, mm -hmm. but actually exercise will help you to produce um, endorphin that moves your mood. So when your mood is better, obviously you can sleep better. Mm -hmm. So the other thing also, I would say avoid caffeine. Of course. Yeah, many people get addicted to coffee, but too much caffeine can be overstimulating and then um, mm -hmm. cause a sleeping disturbance. The other thing is also exposed to sunlight because actually sunlight helps your body to produce more melatonin, which then helps you to sleep better. And the last thing I would say, no TV in your bedroom, because you know, the blue light from the TV will actually keep your brain alert and disturb your sleep. So what are some of the other issues that somebody who's elderly may face? Well, the other issue is memory issue. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they tend to forget things, you know, cannot remember names and things like that. That's true. So, I'm going to ask you both now. Is this something that you both face? I mean, having said that, this is something that I face too. Very frequently, I don't know what is going on. But is that something that you both feel like happens to you a lot? Yes. Um, lately, I mean, in the past few years, ever since I menopaused, I, I noticed that I do forget uh, a lot of stuff. Sometimes mid-sentence I'm talking and I forget what I'm talking about, which mm -hmm. is very irritating. Yeah, yeah, of course. And Mrs. Raj, yourself, do you face sometimes you're, you're, you're about to do something and then you forget what it is? Yes, she's very forgetful, yes. Mm -hmm. Short-term memories. Short memories. Yeah. Past, I can, past I can remember, the presence I forget. There are a couple of the simple remedies at home that also can help us to enhance, to boost our memory and also help us to you know, be one of our concentration um, level. And so one of it uh, will be um, walnuts. So do you think walnut looks like brain, actually? Yes. Yeah, for a reason, because it the contains walnut. a lot of the yes, good walnuts. fats. Yeah. <laughs> so it contains the omega-3, and particularly in DHA. So it's very important for brain development. And good fat is actually very, very important for brain cells. But now I say people get a lot of the bad fat, like trans fat which is very harmful to our brain cells. How much do you need to eat a day? A handful per day as a healthy snack is great. That's so simple. just a handful and that's supposed to help? Yes, and walnut is the, contains the highest omega-3 amongst all the nuts. I see, it's definitely worth a shot at least, right? Sure. Definitely, I have to buy some and put it in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the other remedy here which is green tea. Green tea has a lot of health benefit because yes. it's very high in antioxidants and it also an uh, antioxidant for our brain. So it okay. helps to protect our brain cells from free radio damage and one cup of green tea per day can give you to pick you up things and increase the mental alertness. 
Amazing. So what's the last thing on our list? So the other thing is, what do you think? What's this? Turmeric. Turmeric. So curry is actually good for your brain. Mm. Yeah. So turmeric is uh, very high in anti-inflammatory, but it also a neuroprotective agent, mm -hmm. which can protect your brain cell and your nervous system. Protect the brain cell from degenerating? From degenerating because it's antioxidant as well. And studies show that it helps you to prevent from getting Alzheimer's. Oh, so I thought this okay. is very amazing. Yeah. So last but not least, what's that? Well, that is Pagaga. Uh, thank it's you. Pagaga. Yeah, it's called Pagaga or it's called um, Gotukola. I'm sure everyone is familiar with this because this is widely available in everywhere in Malaysia. And they are great for elder people because of a few points. First, it's a skin regenerator, so it's an anti-aging herb. Secondly, it tones your nervous system, so it calms you down, makes you um, not so nervous and reduce the stress. And thirdly, it actually helps to boost your memory. So, any suggestions on how you would prepare and eat this? Well, um, you can eat them as a salad. So just cut them up and put in your salad and eat every day. Or you can make them as tea. tea. Ah, yeah. just, so it's very uh, simple. Fresh like that or Just fresh like that oh. and just make a tea. Cool. Yeah. So interesting. So you've so many options actually to try for a, like a natural approach to curbing some of these problems that often arise with old age. But you know what? Having said that, I feel like I'm about to make myself some green tea <laughs> and pagaga tea and all that stuff because I forget things all the time. So maybe aging has just come early for me. But anyway, ladies, thank you so much for sitting down with us. It was an absolute pleasure. And I really hope you've learned a lot about some of the things that you can do at home.